Hello everyone! Today we're going to show you exactly how to take a journey you will never forget. A train adventure through Spain. Here is where we are going today. We will start in Madrid, over to Valencia, have a fun detour to Alicante in between, and end up in Barcelona. We took this journey ourselves, but it wasn't just a vacation. It was a bit of a revelation. A story of how learning to navigate the Spanish train system unlocked a whole new world of travel for us in Europe. We found that it was difficult to find suggested train itineraries online, so we wanted to share ours with you. Take it exactly as we've done it, or use it as a base to create your own train adventure. Planning this trip wasn't just about ticking off cities for us. We looked at land-based tour companies like Globus and Talc to help do the planning for us, but we found these pre-packaged itineraries to be a bit stuffy and restrictive. We wanted to experience Spain organically, to let the rhythm of the train dictate our journey, and let me tell you, it was liberating. Finding inspiration at every city, meeting locals on board, and simply letting the landscape roll by. It was pure magic. Confession time. We were initially a bit intimidated by Europe's train networks. I mean, figuring out itineraries, deciphering schedules, navigating train stations, it all seemed a bit overwhelming. But then Spain happened. If you're coming over from North America, or anywhere really, you need a point of entry, and it's probably by plane. We landed in Madrid, a historic, beautiful, and lively city. We wandered through the Prado, marveled at the Royal Palace, and even saw a flamenco show. And of course, we devoured tapas at amazing restaurants and markets. We had a wonderful time in Madrid, and you should see our full playlist of videos with tips and adventures, but something felt incomplete. We wanted to explore beyond the city limits. <laughs> Navigating Spanish trains is surprisingly easy, but there are a few things that you should watch out for. There are multiple train companies in Spain, but there is a good chance you will use Winfi the National Railway Company. Renfri has a website and app, but they are not user-friendly and don't play well with North American credit cards. We booked our tickets online using Omeo instead, and we highly recommend that you do as well. We've included links in the description. We also wanted to provide some information on URL passes, because that question comes up a lot. URL passes can be handy for flexible travel, but you should compare prices with individual tickets, especially for shorter trips. It may not always be economical in the end, so you need to choose wisely. We boarded our first Spanish train. This one headed towards Valencia half hoping, half fearing, but what greeted us was a network of efficient, comfortable trains connecting cities pretty effortlessly. Valencia surprised us with its blend of ancient charm and modern marvels. We walked our way through beautiful medieval passageways and marveled at the futuristic city of arts and sciences. Whenever you see a picture of Valencia, you're likely going to see a picture of this behind us. It's the Arts and Sciences Complex, and we're so excited that we made it out here today. Yeah, we're just in Valencia for a short amount of time, so we've walked over here a mile, mile and a half from the old town, and it's this huge complex, very modern, futuristic, and it seems to have a lot to offer. We're not here for long this time, so we're going to go in next time, uh, but we're really excited we got to see it and explore it today. And no trip to Valencia would be complete without, of course, enjoying some amazing paella. Mm. 
Here's a very important tip. Don't just stick to big cities like Valencia. There's a whole surprising world out there. From medieval walled towns to hidden coastal gems, Spain is full of regional treasures. Hop off the train at random stations and explore. You might stumble upon your new favorite place. We took an overnight trip by train to Alicante, a charming coastal town. It had some amazing beaches and some really great low-priced restaurants. We climbed up to a fortress high above the city. It has a long history. What I love about Alicante is that there are a number of castles and forts to explore. Some of these go back as far as the Moors who used to lay claim to this area. Look at this view. Trust us, hauling large luggage across train stations is no fun at all. And sometimes they can be tight on large luggage storage within the car itself. Pack light with versatile clothes you can mix and match for different occasions. Remember, Spain has laundry facilities everywhere, so keep it light and breezy. Back on the train, we sped towards Barcelona, a city known for many things, including being an architecture wonderland influenced by the visionary architect, Antony Gaudi. We marveled at the Sagrada Familia, even climbing up into its spires reaching for the sky. We got lost in the alleyways of the Gothic Quarter and wandered through Gaudi's fantastical creations. After a day at museums, in the evenings, we enjoyed sangria, Catalan cuisine, and caught a concert. We have a separate video on the smaller day trips we took by train before we flew home from Barcelona, so check that out. The train journey through Spain wasn't just about sightseeing. It was also about personal growth. We learned to navigate a new country, embrace spontaneity, and we connected with locals in kind of new and unexpected ways. We returned home with not just souvenirs, but with a newfound confidence to explore Europe independently. So if you're looking for an adventure that kind of breaks the mold, consider booking a train ticket through Spain and let the tracks guide you. And make sure and check out our videos on our Spain trips, and hopefully they will give you a bit of inspiration. <laughs>